What's going on guys, Come straight back again on another MLB The Show 18 Diamond Dynasty video and today I have something I want to go ahead and talk about, something I've been thinking about of course it is a pretty hot topic, a pretty big subject in the MLB The Show 18 community right now and that is of course we know there are, well, I think most of us know that there's going to be more career arcs. Some people still ask to this day, is there going to be new career arcs? Obviously, coming soon, this program will be released in the future. And those, of course, are going to be career arcs. We are going to see an entire second round because we need one for every single position. So, uh, right down the line, we need pretty much another position. So, double what we have now. And people have been wondering, what exactly will those career arc players be now? Three of them are confirmed uh, that we saw in the initial live streams. We saw first base will be Frank Thomas. So that one will be needed for uh, Ever Pujols. Uh, the shortstop one for Cal Ripken Jr. will be uh, Jose Reyes. And then uh, third base will be Mike Schmidt. And people are arguing whether Mike Schmidt should be an immortal or not. Uh, I I'm cool with Chipper Jones. I'd rather have a 99 Chipper Jones than a 99 Mike Schmidt. I think we can all agree with that. You'd rather have a 99 Immortal Chipper than a 99 Mike Schmidt. But regardless, people still argue about that. But here are my predictions for every single career arc that we're going to see. Like I said, I'm going to have one for each and every position or at least the required ones. Um, notably, right field does not have an immortal. That's because Vladimir Guerrero is uh, actually the immortal. So I don't think we'll see another career arc for right field. Uh, I don't even know if we have one right now. Larry Doby's the center fielder. Uh, yeah, we don't have a right fielder uh, immortal uh, e program immortal or a career arc. So I'm not gonna have that. But without further ado, my catchers, I have two, and I'm guaranteeing you it's gonna be one of these two. It's either gonna be Yogi Berra or Johnny Bench. Uh, Carlton Fisk is already in the game. He was the Red Sox team epic. He was the other uh, one I was thinking about. For a second, a split second, I thought 99 Joe Maurer, but I don't think that uh, that's going to be a team or not a team epic, but a career arc. I almost guarantee you it's going to be Yogi Berra or Johnny Bench. Not too excited about either of those in years past. I've not been able to hit with Yogi Berra or Johnny Bench, so not too excited, but I'm going to guarantee you that's going to be the catcher. First base, like I said, already is going to be Frank Thomas. Uh, here's a quick look at his card, his statistics. If you guys want to go ahead and check it out. Pretty cool card, nonetheless. Uh, but we already know that Frank Thomas is going to be there. At second base, the one that's going to tie in with Jackie Robinson. Uh, my thoughts is probably uh, Roberto Alomar. He was in the game last year, a new legend. And uh, to me, it would make sense if uh, Roberto Alomar goes ahead and returns. Second base is a position that I really couldn't think of many other guys. Ryan Sandberg is already in the game. Uh, he is, uh, I believe he's the baseball autographs player right there. Um, so I don't think they're going to have it be like that. It seems like, uh, kind of like Gary Corder. Uh, you don't really have any other cards than him, uh, for him other than these. And it kind of goes for all the players at least right now. That's kind of the trend. So I would say second base, Roberto Alomar would be a good pick. Third base, like I already said, Mike Schmidt is already confirmed. He is going to be the other one that you're going to need for Chipper Jones. I think he's going to be better than Joe Torre. Um, but in years past, I've never used a Mike Schmidt card. He has great defense, but his contact isn't that good. But how this year, you don't really need contact, just pop. So maybe this is the year that Mike Schmidt can go ahead and be great in MLB The Show. Of course, shortstop, like I already said, Jose Reyes will be the other one. And that's actually, uh, that's dope. I love Jose Reyes in years past. Uh, I still kind of want to get this hand ram. I wish he had more power. Um, but eventually, of course, I'm going to have to get him regardless. Uh, you know, cool card, but Jose Arreyes, I think, will be a lot better. Uh, in my opinion, I love contact. I love speed. Uh, will it do that good in this year? I don't know, but I love Jose. Nonetheless, I'm still going to want to go ahead and get that card. Left field, um, that would be the one for Babe Ruth, I believe. And for left field, they did confirm a new legend in the game, Albert Bell. I'm going to say that's going to be the one for left field that ties in with Babe Ruth. You have another guy with a lot of power, just like Babe Ruth. 
He's a new legend and I don't see them having any other way of including him but like a 96, 97 overall diamond. Kind of like they're going to do with Frank Thomas. So in my opinion, that would only make sense to give the new legend some honor. And then center field, uh, which would be the one that ties in with uh, Ken Griffey Jr. I'm going to say that's going to be Tony Gwynn. Uh, we have not seen a Tony Gwynn card yet this year. Mr. Padre, he deserves a good card, and I think they're going to give him like a 97, 96 diamond career arc that's going to tie in with Ken Griffey Jr. once again. Like I said, he does not have a card yet this year, and I think it would make sense for them to honor Mr. Padre by giving him a career arc. Now, moving on to the pitchers, I'm not, uh, I'm not that sure of. I'm pretty positive on at least 80 percent of those uh, position players and I guarantee you most of them I'm gonna get right I can almost bet you anything on that but the pitches is a little bit more of a gray area uh, we're gonna have two more starters uh, with Tom Seaver and Nolan Ryan and two relievers so I picked three starters uh, I'm gonna say Oral Hershiser is gonna be one of them uh, we've had him before. Another is Fergie Jenkins, who was first introduced last year. Um, now, this doesn't really matter whether it's Tom Seaver or Nolan Ryan, uh, because they're both starting pitchers. But the third one, kind of just, uh, you know, a more modern one that I picked, is uh, Justin Verlander. I think that's also a possibility. Uh, he's gotten really good cards in the past two years, and I wouldn't be surprised if they, bought, if they brought back that card for a career arc. I don't know if they will, but if, if you look at the career arcs now uh we have really uh pretty much one two uh, maybe trevor hoffman he's he's kind of modern but really like two players that are actually still playing in chase utley and henley ramirez and out of all of those guys that i mentioned so far none of them are currently still playing so i wouldn't be surprised if they wanted to have somebody modern like verlander in but uh, Oral Hirschheiser, Justin Verlander, and Fergie Jenkins are going to be my picks for starting pitchers as far as uh, career orcs go. And then my two relievers that I picked, uh, we have Craig Kimbrell, once again a more modern card. And uh, we've already seen Craig Kimbrell, I believe uh, his card's going to be in the game. They showed this screenshot back in the initial uh, live streams for Diamond Dynasty. Uh, when they were comparing the rating system from last year to this year. And uh, yeah, I think that'd be a good spot to use that card. Like I said, another modern uh, another modern way to use uh, Craig Kimbrell and have a, you know, a today current player. And the career arcs, to me, that would make sense. And he's a dominant closing pitcher. And then my other one is going to be Eric Gagne. Of course, he was a new legend for the Los Angeles Dodgers and various other teams last year. And I think him and Craig Kimbrell would be pretty good picks. Um, once again, like I said, I'm not too, I, I'm pretty confident. I'm about so-so 50-50 on my pitchers that I went ahead and predicted. Like I said, my position players, I'm pretty, pretty confident that those are pretty much going to be the guys that we're going to see. But my starters and closers, I'm not too sure on, but closers, I feel like I have a little bit more of a firm grasp. And Eric Gagne would be a good pick. Of course, he was in the game last year. A lot of people want to see him back, and I would not be surprised if he was uh, a career or for either the Billy Wagner or the Rich Gossage Immortal. Um, the one thing I do have to think about though is Gossage is a righty and Wagner is a lefty. Um, Nolan Ryan and Seaver are of course both righties. I don't think that's going to have any uh, difference. Actually, there is a third starting pitcher. I knew there was. Uh, Bob Gibson, so that makes sense why I picked three. Uh, but a righty and a lefty, I don't remember... Uh, what Gagne is. I know, of course, Craig Kimbrell's a righty, but Gagne, I think he's a righty too. I don't know. Maybe it's going to be a lefty closer. I'm not too sure, but those are my career arc predictions so far. Let me know down below in the comments who you think will be the second round, the second wave of career arcs that we're going to go ahead and see and tie into the Immortals. Like I said, very confident on my position player picks, and I'm quite sure you guys are probably going to agree with me. Of course, like I said, three of them uh, right now have been confirmed they were in the live stream so we know that those are going to be in their set in stone frank thomas jose reyes and uh, mike schmidt but if you guys have other thoughts and opinions on who we might see as career arcs make sure to let me know down below in the comments but if you guys did enjoy the video and are excited for the second release of career arcs i'll let you know whenever they go live or more news regarding when they are going to be released of course make sure to leave a like down below on the video but hope you guys have a great day and literally guys comes out yeah. love is love and hate is hate to die is an awesome
got some adventure and I can hardly wait Earth is a prison, I need a great escape You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone, you know I'm in my zone I took a bite of the glory, I tell you